What's up, everyone? Rich Redmond here, Jason Aldean Band, beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. Today, I'm at the Bridgestone Arena. Spent a lot of time here over the years. We're actually rehearsing two weeks for our 2017 tour, and a lot of you have been asking me for years. This hasn't happened in a while. Do a gear rundown, Rich. This is my 2017 Jason Aldean touring rig. Now, I've had these drums for about three years. John Hall's off camera here. Could be four years. And the reason is, I can't beat them. This is the sexiest, most masculine looking set of drums I've ever had. This is a black sparkle finish. It's in a finish ply. If you're a touring drummer, satin, lacquer, very nice, but not as roadworthy as the wrap. The sizes, this is a standard DW configuration. This is the DW technology that they came to be known for in 1971, just standard shell packs that you can get at Guitar Center or Sam Ash or Forks Drum Closet. 13 by nine, 16 by 14, 18 by 16, 13, 16, 18. Man sizes, bottom sizes. We have a 24 inch kick, 24 by 18, and this is a matching maple snare drum and the size is five and a half by 14. And you can see that this beautiful finishing touch here is this white satin hardware, which just really, really makes it pop. So the black galaxy, black sparkle finish with the white satin, they just sound amazing. Really big, really open. I mean, those things sing big and loud. If you've been following me, you know that I've been a proud Remo endorser since dinosaurs roamed the earth, 1993. And I've been using smooth white emperors for maybe about a decade. And then John and I, we were using some uh, coated, coated emperors for a couple years. So for this tour, we're gonna use clear emperors because there's a lot of high-end attack. There's some low fundamentals, a lot of goo, 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 but some nice high-end snap that we're gonna get from these emperors. And people ask me, why don't you use ambassadors? Because I don't have that kind of time. I'm a hard hitter, I'd be changing heads all the time. So, John's off camera going, I would change the heads, Rich. What are you talking about? On the bottom of the drums, we have clear ambassadors. As you can see on the kick drum, we have a Power Stroke 3, a clear Power Stroke 3 with Flam Slam impact pads. If you play like I do, you're definitely gonna want the, the mindset, the security of having this Flam Slam pad in there, okay? So on the snare drum, we have an, uh, an Emperor X. Now this is a, a head that was developed by Remo for us hard hitters. If I don't use an Emperor X, I use a CS Black Dot. But this makes it through about three shows. Every three shows, we change the toms, we change the snare drum every couple months on the kick drum. So Remo, we love Remo. Long time user of Sabian products. We have my favorite China in the whole world. Chad Smith, you did a great job. This is the Holy China. It's just a big burst of white hot energy. You hit it and quit it, it goes away. Very musical, it's a really nice sound. We have two 20 inch AX explosion crashes. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Very musical sounding, they're dark and they're musical and they sound like, a, remember when you're choosing cymbals, make sure you choose cymbals that sound like they go together. Mom, dad, the kids, it's a family. All right, so very musical, but it's gonna cut through the wall of amplifiers that our music has. We got some big crunchy guitars, so I need some big stuff. So 220s, and we've got a 24 inch bash ride. Now I get a lot of questions about my ride cymbal. Are you using the Evolution ride? Are you using the Legacy? Because I keep changing my mind, because sometimes I want a really amazing bell. What's the perfect cymbal? An amazing bell, stick articulation, you'd be able to shoulder crash on it and ride on it if you want to. It's really hard to get everything, but this has got a nice bell, so a pretty good articulation but if you, I bash a lot on this thing, so. So that's your bash ride. I like big hi-hats. This is a 16 inch AAX explosion hats. It's 16 inch, yes, man hi-hats. You, you can get these stock off the shelf at Guitar Center, but they're really just kind of silky and smooth and glassy. Really like this stuff. Sticks, I've been with Promark for some time now, about a decade. This is my Rich Redmond Active Grip 595 signature drum stick. It is a modified 5B, it's got an abrupt taper, it's black, it's red, it's got a forward balance, it's got my name on it, and it's got this proprietary finish called 
active grip. So as your body temperature rises, bam, you're able to hold onto the stick. This stick lasts. I mean, I am a tree killer. I am an environmentalist, but I will just say that I probably go through 800 pairs of drumsticks a year, and now we're going through a lot less pairs of drumsticks. For some reason, this stick is really versatile. It's really durable. I've got friends that are in metal bands. They're like, dude, I've had these drumsticks like all week, and they take a picture of it, and they're like, I love these. So there's been a great grassroots uh, reaction to this product. So check it out. Active Grip 595 Rich Redmond Signature Drumstick from Promark. And then we have, of course, all Audio-Technica microphones. have been with Audio-Technica for a long time. Thank you guys for your support. Just go to richredmond.com, and there's a list of all the exact models. LP Percussion, everybody needs the, their Ridge Rider cowbell. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Don't Fear the Reaper. Have you guys seen the chart to Don't Fear the Reaper? It's just quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, and a lot of repeat signs. And then also, I have one of the most recorded shakers in history, which is the LP Soft Shake, which is a really cool feature, and you can actually do this if you want to be more visual. We have this. We have maracas, which is really good. These are D-drum triggers, and I have them on the kick drum. And the kick drum, we're basically triggering an Alesis DM5 to create an electronic spike, so I can feel that electronic spike. This is my throne from Porter and Davies, okay? What I love about it is that the speakers are actually built into this product, so I can't say enough about that. And there's no latency, whether you play loud or soft, as soon as you hit that kick drum, you are gonna feel the low end. Sim pads. Now, sim pads let you set the maximum vibration and movement for your cymbal, and they come in all sorts of crazy colors. We've got white to match the white side and hardware. And what we've done is we've modified the thickness a little bit, and we've put them on this new product called Cymbolts. Now, why do we use Cymbolts? Because Cymbolts allow John to set up and tear down incredibly fast, and also, if I break a cymbal during the show, watch what John does. Boom! He puts another cymbal on there. I've got this cool little Starbucks uh, drink holder over here. But my friends at Quick Sticks. Quick Sticks. Check out Quick Sticks products. Great guys. I've known those guys forever and a day. This is one of the greatest inventions in the last 15 years in the percussion industry. This is the Roland SPDSX. And we're essentially using this as a backup click. The main clicks that we're using to generate the show are coming from a $200 drum machine and a Lesis SR18. You could buy it at Guitar Center or Sam Asher Musician's Friend or Sweetwater. A lot of people are like, why don't you guys run more tracks? Or why don't you guys use a hardware-based computer program? The guys like the sounds I have set up. It's a physical product. It, it hasn't let us down, and if it ain't broke, so that's what we do for that. For the uh, Roland SPDSX, we have the whole show in setless order, back to back. So if those clicks go down, I'm set up here. And then on certain songs, like Any Old Barstool, 1994, She's Country, I'm using the built-in sounds in this product, and there's hundreds of, of sounds from ethnic products to 808s to 909s, hand claps all in here. My hardware is is the top of the line DW, it's all 9,000 because I need stuff that's got muscle, it's gotta be road worthy. So the 9,000 pedals, really incredible. Now for years I was using a hard red Danmar beater, the kind that heavy metal drummers use because I like that impact. And then my friends at DW, we developed a new beater called the Black Sheep. The Black Sheep beater is made of hard wood. Strong maximum impact, and it comes with kind of like a little felt wig that you could put on top of it. So you can still have an articulate sound, but softer and more legato. So check out the Black Sheep beater. I've got some Adam Argulin custom mallets here, black and white. Thank you, Adam. He makes some really, really awesome stuff there. Check out Adam Argulin. And check this out, drum tacks. I was actually one of the first artists to endorse drum tacks. This proprietary technology allows you to sonically alter the sound of your drums. I've been using drum tacks on the bottom heads of these drums for years. It just takes off a little bit of that high-end attack and ring. Four to a pack, drum tacks. Humes and Berg cases. Michael Berg, family-owned company for many, many years. Thank you for the most quality cases, the most durable cases in the industry. Check out Humes and Berg. And last but not least, big thanks to my friend Dominic Tancredi at Woodshed Stage Art. I was one of Dominic's first clients, and he basically puts any graphic 
on any drum head. We've had a lot of different designs over the years with logos that coincide with the name of the tour, but we've settled on just Jason Aldean's name and then my name in cursive on the bottom, and it looks really classy, black. This is a really nice looking drum set, so thank you, Dominic. Everyone check out woodshedstageart.com. Once again, thank you everyone for following my adventures, and I definitely want to thank all of my sponsors. I couldn't do this without you. I really, really appreciate it. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for a chance to win a brick of sticks. And if you have any questions that you want answered on my new podcast and web series, Pick Rich's Brain, be sure to use the hashtag PickRich's Brain on all the socials. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the road.